Before we proceed to our lesson, first let us have a short recap. What was our topic last meeting? Yes, Ralph? Last, uh, last, our topic last meeting is to discuss about energy transfer. So, very good. So, what is energy transfer? It is the conversation of what form of energy into another or, or the movements of energy from one place to another. So very good, thank you. Now let's watch first a short video presentation about our topic for today. We may list the important details in this video. I have here a video presentation about our topic for today. It's the time to give birth, laying eggs, birthing at an early stage of development and birthing fully developed offspring. Reproduction is a biological process by which an organism reproduces an offspring who is biologically similar to that organism. It activates the continuity of species, generation after generation. There are two main types of reproduction, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Let's learn about these one by one. Asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is a mode of reproduction that does not entail the union of gametes, or the sex cells. There are four main types of asexual reproduction. Binary fission. The cell splits into two. Each cell carries a copy of the DNA from the parent cell. Example, amoeba. Buddy. A small bud-like outgrowth gives rise to a new individual. The outgrowth remains attached to the organism until it's fully developed. Then, it detaches itself and lives as an individual organism. Example, hydra. Fragmentation. The parent organism splits into several parts, and each part grows into a new individual. Example, planaria. Sporogenesis. In this type of reproduction, a new entity grows from the spores of certain leaves. See, this mountain beaver is happily playing with the fern leaves. The spore bags are located on the backs of the leaf. These are somus, the groups of sporangia which contain spores, and beer. These are spores which are further used in reproduction of plant-like ferns. Sexual reproduction. It is the production of new organisms by the uniting of genetic information of two individuals of different sexes. Let's have a look at the different stages of sexual reproduction. Pre-fertilization. This stage entails the events prior to fertilization. Gamete formation or gametogenesis and transfer of gamete are the two processes that take place during pre-fertilization. Fertilization. Once the haploid male and female gametes meet and fuse together to form a zygote, this is called fertilization. Post-fertilization. Fertilization results in the formation of diploid zygote. The zygote divides mitotically and grows as an embryo. This process is known as embryogenesis. During this process, Cell differentiates and modifies accordingly. Development of zygote depends completely on the organism and its life cycle. Animals are sorted into oviparous and viviparous based on whether the zygote develops outside or inside the body, respectively. In angiosperms, the zygote evolves into the ovary, and ovary transforms into the fruit, while ovules grow into seeds. Now, you know a lot about reproduction. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.
define sexual and asexual reproduction. We cite the advantage of sexual and asexual reproduction in producing of an offspring. Classify organism that is undergo sexual or asexual reproduction. Thank you. Okay, let's have an activity. I'm going to divide the class each group will be given us some pictures and you will classify um, each picture if it's under a, a sexual reproduction or sexual reproduction. And after that, each group will have a representative, representative to present their word. Our activity will be called Where Do I Go? So, okay, let's start. So, very good. Next group. So, Rod. Next is body. New organisms grow 
supported by the ecosystem of the nation. On the body of its parents, a small part grows of a parent cell where new offspring is produced. So who can be an example of organism that undergoes the body? So yes, good answer. Yes, undergoes body also fiber and factors. In the last is fermentation. What do you think is fermentation is real? Fermentation is growing of air to many cells, greatly to fragments, or species of each fragments in their own new organisms. Okay, thank you. According to Mr. Rao, fermentation occurs when a very organism breaks into fragments, or pieces in each fragment develop into new organisms. Starfish, who can give me some examples? The example of these lobster, lizard, tadpoles, crab, and paper. Okay, what is the advantage of a sexual production? It is an enabled organism to reproduce without a meat. No wasting time and energy. Enable some organisms to rapidly reproduce a large number of uniform offspring. So yes, they you are correct. A sexual reproduction to enable organisms to reproduce without a mate. No wasting time and energy enable enable some organisms to rapidly reproduce a large number of uniform offspring. Plus, what do you think is the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction? Sexual reproduction involves two parent cells without a sexual. While right, a sexual reproduction involves one parent cell. Okay, very good. Sexual reproduction involves two parent cells, which are the sperm egg cells that undergo undergoes fertilization of two cells. Okay. While a sexual reproduction involves one parent cell that results in offspring that are genetically identical to each other. Sexual reproduction involves two parent cells which are sperm and egg cells. So sexual 